how did this little green tipped bottle become a cultural phenomenon? 1949, in the small coastal district of Siracha in southeast Thailand, Miss The Nam Shakapak started making a bright, vinegary, garlicky chili sauce for her friends and family. They liked it so much, they encouraged her to bottle and sell it. So she did, calling it Saraja Panish. This might not be the Sriracha you know and love, but it is the original. To get to the rooster sauce you do know, we need to fast forward just a little bit. 1975. In his native Vietnam, David Tran begins making and selling hot sauce. 1978, David Tran and his family flee Vietnam on a Taiwanese freighter named the Hoi Phong, which translates loosely to gathering prosperity. They arrive on the shores of the United States. 1980, in California, Tran notices the waves of Southeast Asian immigrants who also recently relocated to Los Angeles and begins selling his old hot sauce to these communities. He uses old baby jars as containers operating out of his blue Chevy van. 1983, Tran establishes some moderate success, opens up an actual facility, and begins expanding his inventory. He starts to tweak an old recipe from a coastal district in Thailand featuring vinegar, sugar, salt, garlic, and specially grown red jalapeno peppers. In an homage to the region of origin, he names his new concoction Sriracha. He also names his fledgling company Hoi Phong after the ship that brought his family to the States, and he puts a rooster on the bottle because he was born in the year of the rooster. But no one remembers who drew the now famous label, not even Tran. Weird. Whoopsie. In the mid-80s, Tran moves his product up and down the California coast, hitting up cities with sizable Southeast Asian populations, selling with zero marketing or sales team, and steadily racking up sales. 1989, the actor Haley Joel Osment is born. Congratulations! In the mid-90s, Tran Sriracha recipe starts getting a cult following via word of mouth from culinary insiders, with many chefs and connoisseurs just referring to it as the secret sauce. In the mid-2000s, the foodie revolution hits. The U.S. hot sauce market grows 150% faster than any other condiment. Sriracha is available at supermarkets, restaurants, and in 2009, Bon Appetit named Sriracha the ingredient of the year. Also around this time, we could reasonably assume that Haley Joel Osment, like most of the nation, tries Sriracha. In the early 2010s, companies like Frank's Red Hot and Tabasco released their own version of Sriracha. Tran never trademarked the name, so that was totally fine. Americans start putting Sriracha on everything. Eggs, burgers, bagels, pizza, everything in this cookbook. By 2013, we've hit peak Sriracha and everything is great. Except everything is not great for the people living near the Hoi Phong factory. Residents complain about eye irritation, headaches, sore throats, heartburns, and more, blaming the chili emissions from the factory. 2017, Hoi Phong splits with their longtime pepper providers, Underwood Farms, after a lengthy legal spat. They switched to new peppers, and some claim Hoi Phong has never tasted the same since. 2020, there are dozens, if not hundreds, of sriracha brands churning out the chili sauce, including one by Underwood Farms, but Hoi Phong makes almost $80 million worth of revenue per year. For reference, that's enough to buy 25,000 blue Chevy vans. Named after a region in Thailand and a boat called Gathering Prosperity, a shiny example of the American dream actually panning out with enough chilies to smell up a small town. We love you, Sriracha, and we're not afraid to admit we put you on everything. Oh, and by the way, the cap is green to make the bottle look like a ripe chili. Just wanted to throw that in there. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you learned a little something today. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, like this video, comment with the topic you want us to hit next, and share it with a loved one. I'm sure they would like to hear from you. 